Okay, um, good afternoon everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Chandi Kia, you can call, uh, call me Kia. I am from Jakarta, Indonesia. And today I'm going to talk about the how uh, fast and easy to build a mobile app using uh, native script. Anybody here know native script? Anyone? <laughs> okay. Um, Native Script is an um, open source uh, framework uh, building a truly native framework using JavaScript. It's different. Maybe you guys know about the PongeGap, Cordova. That, that thing is uh, using WebView, but Native Script is um, still using JavaScript, but they are accessing the native module of uh, each uh, uh, iOS and uh, Android. So the native UI and performance will be almost the same, but yeah, it's better than WebView. Um, why uh, uh, we use uh, native script other than WebView? Yeah, it's uh, using native UI, and uh, uh, you can use uh, maximum code and skill, skill uh, reusability because uh, native script uh, adapt in modular coding. And um, easy doing to native uh, native uh, plugin and native things because all the code is writing with JavaScript and um, the one is uh, community is much bigger and also it's supported by a major company called Telerik by Progress if you guys know and. If you uh, want to try uh, how the UI, how the use, user experience about native script, you can search in the iOS or in Google Play uh, with the keyword native sample of native scripts. Uh, like I'm talking about uh, about the maximum code and skill reusability, uh, all of these, you know, um, Angular, GS, CSS. Can use in native script or npm uh, ex except for the uh, package that related to the DOM because the native script is uh, not using DOM at all. So here the choice: if you guys um, login uh, accessing the website of native script uh, native script dot uh, you can choose uh, what. You guys prefer uh, uh, want to type uh, co coding with all JavaScript or TypeScript, or combine with TypeScript and Angular, Angular 2. Here are the example of a native script module. You can see uh, on top that are uh, JavaScript that use uh, in native script that to access both uh, platform. Android and iOS. Uh, that's pretty much uh, simpler than the native code, uh, Objective-C or uh, Android. And of course, uh, because the native script uh, doesn't uh, use DOM, they prefer to use uh, what a native uh, Android and uh, iOS use like XML. Not purely XML, but still the, the, the syntax is almost the same. So when you guys are write uh, code like switch, they will show uh, uh, based on the platform. So um, this is a, it is this is a. A plugin that not script uh, so far have been created. Okay, I'm um, enough for talking because I'm not good at all at uh, talking. So I'm here to doing a short demo about how to build a native script. You can, if you guys already installed native script in your machine, you can get clone from there. Um, I'm using. 
TypeScript and Angular for this demo. Oops. So maybe I will introduce uh, how how the NFT script works. Actually, this is the the, the command. I will try to create first before I go to the, my repository. Maybe just hello. <coughs> Since this is the live coding, so <laughs> I hope it will, it will run well. So uh, basically, the uh, TNS create hello world uh, already adapt the template dynamics profile, the template hello world. So you can just try directly without uh, any changing any code. So uh, first thing um, I will show you how is. This one, the hello world. These are the folder that uh, were created by that command. So I open to the sublime. So you can see there are a bunch of uh, already installed in here. I'll start from FGS because this one is uh, using PureGS, so uh, it will be different with my repository that using TypeScript. So I'm going to show you how to run it. I'll run it on iOS emulator. you uh, should have the um, certificate for building this app but for the Android no need for that This is the hello world sample of the native script. Okay, um, then I will try to code along with you guys about uh, first Asia simple for Asia registration app. Actually, I already saved it in my uh, GitHub, so I will not from the scratch. I will code from the scratch. I will run on uh, both of the files, Android and the uh, iOS simulator.
worthwhile for for scaling. Guys, uh, after this one to try, you can you can download you can clone from this repository. Uh, actually, I I I I provided the three these four uh, three branches to to give you a demo, fast demo. Okay, it's running. Okay, this is a, a simple app. Uh, don't expect the, any good design of it because I'm not a designer guy. So uh, here are things that I will show. I will show you guys. So uh, since the native script using modular uh, approach, then uh, I, I will separate this three things, home, login, and digital. So uh, it's like I'm a web developer and, and it is like a code a web application. There is a router and then there is a, a module uh, and then main TS is a start point of this application. And In this branch, uh, I provide three templates for this application. Let's see uh, this uh, template for log uh, after login. We see for the sign up. It's almost the same, but user behavior is quite different because Android and iOS is different. And um, Here's the template of the this login page. As you can see, uh, they are using all XML syntax. But uh, in here, I why why I using the self, uh, HTML suffix because uh, I'm combining this project using Angular 2. So in order to uh, redu readability of the syntax uh, are, are using the HTML, and then the control or component how to ha uh, uh, to handle the the, the function of uh, each template. I mean, it's a uh, action button is on here. So uh, this is for the sign up. This is uh, for sign in. And it is uh, this this router is related to this. You guys see this router. There is a login. It's like almost like web. Login, register, and homepage. Okay. From here, any question? No? And I will move on to the next branch. Oh, I will show you uh, before that. I will show you how easy to write, how to how easy to build a uh, native script using a uh, build a mobile app using native script. Because um, I already run on each devices. Uh, it's a live syncs to each of device. Let's see, I changing to template of uh, login. I will changing this. You can see. Let's see Maybe I will type it more shortly. If I save it, both Android and iOS will. Really fast. So it's 
it's good experience for uh, UX designer because no need to uh, long for wait long for the vendor each time you make change and the next I'll to get check out Um, in post to branch, I uh, will show you how to connect this app, this static app, using uh, Firebase for the, the database. So I'll run it again. Nothing changed for, for the UI, but it will connect to uh, Firebase that I already created. Just Mechanism from Firebase. Yeah, using email and password ah. for this game. Can I also use uh, Facebook or? Yeah, Facebook? of course. Yeah. There, uh, I will show you the the config of Facebook, and if you want to use it, this is Firebase. I'm for this demo. I disable it because there's no time for that. Yeah. You can you can turn it on by. This parameter Google and Facebook, so it will automatically can support that authentication. Okay, okay let's see how. Okay. Ah, this one. You can see that. This one. Uh, it means that the Firebase is connect, and this one, the user ID that created in Firebase, we check it. This refresh it. Same thing. How does it work in the background? Is it the native library or is it the JavaScript library? Actually, uh, it's controlled by JavaScript, but but in the end, they are accessing the uh, native module that provided each of the platform. So it's like uh, maybe you know Summarine yeah. Yeah, using C, but you know a web developer is hard to using C. So yeah. this is the, the alternative for web, web developer to building the uh, mobile apps. Mm -hmm. yes. And then... Does it, does it also to the web developer? Um, Can you do mobile app or something? No, for Native Script actually it's only for... But you can, you can, since this is using Angular 2, you can share the logic that you right. built in the Native Script is for the mobile app, it's from, I mean for web app. Thing, so I'll continue. Uh, okay, I will show you a little bit what the code. Mm. I place it in here. Ah, this one. This one, the package, uh, the plugin that is responsible to, uh, to Firebase. And this one, the uh, trigger. Uh, 
the Firebase connection. Okay, and then I will continue. Yep. Okay. Which one? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. one. You mean this overview? It's just like um, building. Uh, so what I think is if you write a native script uh -huh. and then you try to do a hostile takeover. Uh, I, I don't need it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, I'll continue to force three for the uh, next implementation. Three branch. We are on to iOS again. Connect with the database after the authentication. And I already provide. The registration. Okay, you can try to sign up. Uh, this one is already populated because I and comment the, the declare, declaration here it's construct the uh, register component ts typescript so each of the uh, sorry this one so be populated and also uh in you you might uh, know that uh, Angular 2, there is a uh, one binding and two two way binding, and in this case, I I'm uh, using a two way binding, so I can demonstrate how how easily by using this syntax, so it's automatically connect to this controller. So what happen if I change this? It will automatically change to this side. Actually, it's already running in the ground. Ah, there you go. And it's automatically populated the database in a file base. And of course, you can also log in. Password. 
this one. And we'll, it will show the data of that, that this user uh, already registered before. So I think that's a sub demo about the native script. Maybe you guys any question about it? It's uh, all GS. So like, uh, are you working on this um, sort of in relation to the previous projects that we've heard about this afternoon? Mm -hmm. the, uh, the open event, or the event uh, no. It's completely separate from that, right? No. Different. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. So uh, yeah, with Native Script you can write, uh, especially for web developer, you can write all uh, feature in JS. But the result is same as uh, as good as native apps, both Android and iOS. Do I have access to all the native APIs of the platform? <laughs> yeah. No, not currently not all, but yeah, it's still growing because Native Script is. I think two years ago started, and yeah. then this year is uh, version one. So it's quite new, and the competitor is from Facebook, React Native. Maybe you, you guys know, React Native is yeah, using the same method as a uh, Native Script. But uh, what I personally don't like about React Native that uh, they are all in line in JS, even for the style. Mm -hmm. That's that's really I don't know, but in a native script the 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 CSS is still same CSS at web, yeah, with limitation actually, not all the CSS and web can uh, apply it in the native script. Show some CSS. Yeah. Like could you show, show some of the CSS? That you okay. Can use? Or like what can you use? What can you not use? Are there custom properties that are extended? Um, maybe I will. I will try to uh, change the. Oh, by the way, I think we only have a couple of minutes. Like, <laughs> a minute, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like this one in in the text field. It's like regular CSS. It can be applied inline and also in a CSS dot. Uh, I mean dot CSS, but you can change it like uh, something like this. You can see the login. Just now you had a CSS file open that imports another CSS file that's coming from, it looked like some node modules package? Yeah, yeah, not module package. All in the native script is using not module package. Could you show me the file in node modules and package? Okay, good. Uh, the CSS, wait. Core. Native script. This one. Core right. Core right. Mm -hmm. ah, the good thing is, uh, you know, um, so styling. The Android and iOS, it inserts that automatically. Yeah, just using the name, the, the application can differentiate between the Android and iOS style. Oh, it's, it's sort of modified. Yeah, yeah. We can call it. Pretty much the same, but limited uh, for the native script. Not all, reason. but like you can um, use animation plugin uh, npm, like anime CSS. If I'm not wrong, you can use it also in here. So like maybe just like this demo. I think I will show you to end this session. Uh, sample. This is the UI, the UI of this sample is pretty good.
pretty simple actually using like animate CSS I think so you can move around the background like this one so pretty easy to use the animation on the native app using it that's native CSS script. type of animation or is, is it like a TypeScript library uh, this is using the npm uh, okay so it's pure javascript yeah pure javascript yeah. Do you, do you actually have to put like assets from the web, or can, is, can you run everything natively on the phone, including downloading all the um, graphics and stuff? From the web, uh, I don't think so, but because native is not uh, running in DOM, but everything that not running in DOM can apply to the uh, native script. Okay. okay. Yeah. When I use components like tabs. Mm -hmm. They have a different behavior on iOS and Android. So right. Android, it's I think it's the top. Top, yeah. And, and the on iOS, it's bottom. It can be or bottom and can be floating. Yeah. yeah. So how would it work here when I have one app, one app for both platforms? Uh -huh. Do I have to take care of that myself and build, you know, depending on the platform, build my own UI? No. Um, for the UI perspective, I think there's no need for that because. As you can see here, let's see this one. Maybe label and text field. Uh, just using this uh, this syntax, and then the the native script is smart enough to provide uh, its platform. But the style, of course, the style you can different see it by using the dot iOS and dot Android. Okay. In but in general, I just say tab. Mm -hmm. Tab view or whatsoever. Yeah. I put my stuff in it, and then when it compiles into two different apps, it will be show different. It's different to what is now. Yeah. Okay. It will be different. So, so, any question? How how responsive is the output app when it's on the phone? The final app. Does it have lag issues like some? Um, Frank speaking, I'm not. Uh, I will build production yet, but just play around with it. Uh, but from the um, community that I research, it's pretty much the same with the native native app. Okay. Because um, yeah, it's different with web view because when you build in the uh, and you 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 publish it, it purely uh, even if you uh, open it in Xcode, they will show the the native. Component, okay, okay. not not the GS. Okay, okay, I see. I see. <laughs> Just like Jack Native, I think. Yeah, yes. Is it an uh, emulator for different Android devices, like the size of uh, Oh, for the license. Uh, emulator, so when you, this one where you avoid. Uh -huh. uh, this one? Yes. Uh, this one for the Android, I'm using Genymotion because the native uh, it's it, yeah it's emulator is not quite good for the demo like seems too slow mm. so you can you can download it for the for personal use it's free but for the iOS um, you need to buy a subscription license to develop it and using Mac of course <laughs> yeah that's uh, <laughs> okay Cool. Okay, I think that's all. Thank you.